This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is Paddow syndrome? Answer, Paddow syndrome, also known as trisomy 13, is a genetic disorder characterized by severe intellectual disability and a wide range of physical abnormalities. Question, what are some of the findings associated with Paddow syndrome? Answer, findings associated with Paddow syndrome include rocker bottom feet, microphthalmia, microcephaly, cleft lip, palate, holoprosencephaly, polydactyly, cuties aplasia, congenital heart disease, polycystic kidney disease, and omphalosal. Question, what is the typical life expectancy for someone with Paddow syndrome? Answer, death usually occurs by age one for individuals with Paddow syndrome. Question, at what age does puberty occur in individuals with Paddow syndrome? Answer, puberty occurs at age 13 in individuals with Paddow syndrome. Question, what is the defect that leads to midline defects in Paddow syndrome? Answer, the defect in Paddow syndrome that leads to midline defects is a defect in the fusion of precordial mesoderm. Question, Question, how is Paddow syndrome caused? Answer, Paddow syndrome is caused by an extra copy of chromosome 13, resulting in a trisomy of this chromosome. Question, are there any specific treatment options available for Paddow syndrome? Answer, there is no cure for Paddow syndrome and treatment is symptomatic and supportive. Management may include physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Question, what are the chances of having another child with Paddow syndrome? Answer, the chance of having another child child with Paddow syndrome is low, but there is a slight increased risk of recurrence in future pregnancies if the parent is a carrier of a translocated chromosome 13. Question, can Paddow syndrome be diagnosed before birth? Answer, Paddow syndrome can be diagnosed before birth through prenatal screening tests such as chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis. Question, is Paddow syndrome more common in males or females? Answer, Paddow syndrome affects males and females in equal numbers. Question, are there any specific organs that are affected more commonly in Paddow syndrome? Answer, the eyes, brain, heart, and kidneys are commonly affected in Paddow syndrome. Holoprosencephaly is a characteristic of the disorder. Question, are there any specific physical characteristics that are common in individuals with Paddow syndrome? Answer, physical characteristics commonly seen in individuals with Paddow syndrome include microcephaly, a small head, low set ears, cleft lip or palate, rocker bottom feet, and extra digits on the hands or feet. Question, what is the survival rate for individuals with Paddow syndrome? Answer, the survival rate for individuals with Paddow syndrome is low, with death usually occurring by age one. Question, are there any support groups or organizations for individuals and families affected by Paddow syndrome? Answer, there are several organizations and support groups available for individuals and families affected by Paddow syndrome, such as the Trisomy 13 and 18 Foundation and the Paddow syndrome support group. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like, and subscribe.